so hello and welcome friends so in this video we are going to see how to load a data from csv data file so this is my csv data file in that i have customer id name product id quantity and amount uh, might uh, this ca this can be happen like some data are uh, blank uh, it uh, it is not there but uh, uh, like it, it is uh, like a requirement only so we are going to retrieve our data one by one from here so what I want to do like uh, we don't need uh, this first line so just I remove this one like title we are not required here so I will just remove this I will just save it again like uh, CSV data format okay comma separated value so it, it is uh, saved in, in comma separated value so like uh, this is the, our project just uh, create a new Java class file so as we are creating uh, customer details so I need one Pojo class also like customer so I will create two classes here one uh, one customer and one for uh, main function which will uh, do all the operations so and uh, here I will create uh, my customer Pojo class say finish so this this will be my customer pojo class like i have data id then customer name then product id then product quantity and then we have product price okay so we'll do the same like this only we'll create a pojo class here so here it's my customer pojo class in that i have customer as integer name as a string and product id integer quantity integer and amount is in double format uh, so i have created a default constructor and parameterized constructor to get all the details in one object and uh, uh, like i have created two string also and uh, we will have the getter and setter for uh, each and every variable so this is my pojo class now let me create uh, another class which will have the, all the functionalities with main function so class and read i will say csv okay so now this is my main function so let me uh, so we'll need a list of customer we will create one function and we will say it this one like uh, customer list equals to uh, get uh, customer details and in that we will pass the file location you can see my file is here only in test uh, cus detail dot csv okay so test and uh, cust uh, details dot csv file so i'm gonna create one function which accept uh, the file location and it will give me the list of customer okay and i will go i will iterate this for this customer list so we are gonna use customer cost equals to Cursed list okay and we will just print uh, each and every customer one by one here okay so now come to this function so here I'm getting my file details file uh, location in this location in this uh, string so what I'm gonna do I need to uh, first I need to get that uh, file like uh, I need to load that file in my path so path you can say path to file equals to mm, paths dot uh, get file okay so this will load my file so let me uh, 
use the try with resource in buffer reader buffer reader and we will say br equals to files dot uh, new buffer reader and in that we need to pass our path to file so this one will uh, give me the buffer reader object now I will say string first row we can say like uh, row directly say row only it will give me the one line br dot read line the first line it will give me in the row uh, okay so it will give me the uh, this uh, row in that it will give me the first line so now it will let me iterate it one by one like uh, till the row is not equals to null till that I need to iterate it mm. now it will okay so row will have the data so what I will do I will get uh, this data in one by one attributes and in that I will say row dot split and what so this will split by comma okay so attribute will have the first row with the splitted comma like it will store in an array of attributes so what I will do I will create one more function but before that I will say customer cust equals to uh, get one customer it will like it will store data one by one it will call my setter and getter it will give me the data so I will just pass this attribute details and what I will do I, I need to create a list of customer so I'm just taking the above one I need I can say here okay cust list and here I will say cust list dot add customer cust it will add one by one customer and then I will return the cust list from here okay so just create this one more function and in this one what happened this one initialize variable okay now in this what we are gonna do we need to uh, if like uh, so first will be my customer ID in this function uh, we will uh, iterate the data attributes data one by one and we will set in our customer details or we can say here directly like this customer cust equals to new customer or let me do this one return cast here and then int cast id equals to integer parse int in that attribute it the first will be our id first will be our id so it will be zero now second one we will have the string cust name in that we will just uh, take the attribute we will say this will be this first the first one then uh, this next one we have integer 
प्रोडक्ट आईडी सो इन दैट सेम सेम थिंग वी नीड टू डू लेट मी कॉपी द एबो वन सेकेंड थर्ड वन विल हैव आर प्रोडक्ट quantity here we will say third one the last one we have double double this one is the price or we can say the amount we will say double dot parse double using the attribute and this will be our fourth data so these are the things which we are done till now let me run the code but uh, before that we need to like pass the data as we have uh, uh, we need to initialize the data uh, object of the customer so first name as we have created a para parameter as constructor in our pojo class product id then product quantity then we have amount so all good now let me run this code run as java application a for the input string read csv this is the number format exception so as uh, we are getting the string uh, like this so what uh, we need to do we need to add some data here so i will add 10 here and i will uh, put some data here so it should not be blank and uh, while creating uh, this data into an integer it will not get any issue so just uh, again run this one so we are getting like this so i think uh, i miss something br dot read line okay so here we need to add one more br dot read line Like to iterate one by one in loop also. B R dot read line. Now just run it once again. And here we go. So we are getting the data as we have in our CSV format. So from CSV we are getting in our Java. So we just first we just create a function. get cost detail in that we passed a file location then uh, we create a list of uh, customer uh, as an uh, we have declared the cust list of customer then this is we have loaded the path dot get file and we created a buffer reader object uh, while use uh, while iterating uh, we use the br dot read line one by one and uh, then we split the data and split uh, we uh, we got the each uh, cell value in our attribute of array and we pass our attribute of a get one customer and in that uh, we have set uh, the get the cus like uh, 1 0 1 2 3 4 and uh, we pass this uh, new object in our uh, customer cust object and cust object we have added one by one in our list and then we return the cust list and it wait again go there on for main function and we just iterate it one by one and we are getting the output so that's all in this video uh, please hit the like button if you have liked the video and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys